Hello friends, welcome to Good News. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, sometimes we dress the outside of us to look good and to look neat and to look fantastic, but we forget that the inside of us shows and portrays an opposite look. We forget that mummies are dealt with in a similar manner, wrapped in nice and neat linen, but underneath is a dead and decaying corpse. We sometimes put on a fake look, but not realizing that our character within depicts the people that we are not true believers, but a Facebook. Acting like a church child or a church kid, uh, you know, a church youth, but addicted to unruly and unworthy acts and behaviors, to be stealing gang raids, showing ill and unruly attitude. Sundays we go to church, but Saturdays we get faded and get smashed, acting as if we were created just to have fun, to make a mess and get wasted. Every effort of humanity is determined to search and dig deep in the creation of God. But the fold of true believers shows a complete use of man by the Son of God to make a positive change in human lives and to promote and support the reconciliation of man back to God. I built my whole life in the visage of neatness, but now that I know him, I boast in my meekness. I have come to understand that the company of the Son of God is not a museum of a collection of people, but a home for the broken, a home for the heavy laden, and most importantly, the repentant heart. When I was not a fan of God and a believer, when I was on my own and living in my own world, he looked down on me and said, I want that guy, I want that child, I want that youth, and I want that adult. In him, salvation is freely mine, and forgiveness is my own, not based on my merit, but on his obedience only, because he wore the crown of thorns on his head, dripping down blood down his face. and spot on his face. The glow of this man who walked on the planet has suddenly become dark. He took the sentence file and said, Son, I will take the blame. In 1996, I said to myself, I did this to him. I did this to this man. My lying, my cheating, my disrespectfulness, my unruly attitude, my sins. Indeed, I did this to him. He took away my sins, paid the price, and spent three days in the hell that I was meant to be in forever. He took away the, the punishment of humanity and made grace available to us all, including you. He absorbed all our sins and buried them in the tomb. The old things have passed away and made everything has become new. Redeem the time, because the days are evil. Now is the acceptable time. The lifestyle changes we ought to make, the security of our souls we ought to think about, the friends and families we ought to make amends with. Do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say to you, it seems to say to me, let's do it now. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, do not harden your heart. Do not be stony hearted. There may not be tomorrow for you, because when he was dangling on the cross, he was thinking of us. He was thinking of you. He says, come on, there is room. Come on, there is vacancy. This is your opportune time. Lucky.
when he said it was finished on the cross, I believed what he meant. I believed he really meant it. And that changed my life. For God so loved the world, with you in mind, and he gave his only begotten son. Would you believe him for a transformed life? You will never be disappointed. His name is Jesus, the son of the living God.